Hi guys, so I got an interesting problem which is this, like these are the images and uh, they are separated with ID using underscore and you need to figure out this ID from this list and put this whole path here. So I posted this on LinkedIn and uh, what happened is lot of people tried to figure it out but what happened none of them seem to like notice that this is not sorted and they forgot about the O of N. So let me show you what are the ways which we can figure this out. So the problem is simple. We have this array and we have this array. So this is a array of a string and this is array of objects and this and this should match. So like this is two and the bat is two as well. And uh, now we need to uh, write some function what uh, which will do that is it will just take this ID and match it up with this like this will match up with this bat and it will like just update this image key value image value not key okay so there are a few ways which we can do this so let me show you the first way which we can do is like the a bad way where we don't care about big o big o okay so let me just write a for loop for this not for loop i'll use for each uh, you can use even a for loop so image dot for each so first we can just split this up so it can be anything so just don't think like this will be one it could have been like a b c d e f so it, it can be like this as well so but for now we just have this like uh, one then uh, what for each does it it goes through each of the elements so i'll explain you so uh, it will be path so these are path of the images so now i'll just lock this up and uh, what will i do is i'll uh, split this in the meanwhile path dot split so this will be the same like this is what we are gonna do so first we will split it with uh, underscore okay so whatever separator you are using okay and uh, uh, let me just run this up so i'll do node uh, update items and as you can see we get this array and to keep this uh, first thing only so what we can do there are two ways we can use dot at and then put minus one so it will take the last element and uh, let's do this as you can see we get this one three two okay so this is one way or you could have just like took the index but uh, i am imagining maybe there are more underscores or like that so let's like i just want to show you these fancy stuff as well so this is how we will extract the current id of the image so i will uh, delete this from here and i'll make it in id equals and i'll put it here and uh, then we have this id now we need to figure out where that id is and one more thing i'll uh, show you is we have to parse int this or we can simply just add this plus so now if i do shift k the type will be number if i remove the plus the type will be a string or any wow interesting or if we have id then only we do rest of stuff or like let's do it like this return for now and uh, it means like if we don't get the id it will not just work and uh, let me do something now so we will have to loop uh, like let's just comment this up so we will be looping through like first we will filter it out like where is one so one way would be to uh, simply uh, we will look up for that as well so uh, i'll again use another list dot for each and i will do or I can I could have just done filter so but let's do this list dot for each then we will get item then uh, I will have to look up for if item dot id uh, equals equals id so this is the top id if both are equal then uh, id and uh, then here we will do 
all right guys to get the id we will just uh, do for right now i am going to get the first index so it will be giving us the id then like uh, i'll convert it here into number itself so this will become a number and it can be undefined as well if we don't get this but in our case it is perfect so it will work but uh, according to your case choose wisely okay uh, here if we match this up so what we do is uh, we need to grab the index as well so i will do id x and i will do this uh, list uh, list and uh, i will put index and then i'll do image and then i will put the path okay so this is a uh, one way and if i log the uh, list so which uh, you can easily see here so this uh, works so we have this id one and one so this is one way but the problem here what you can see is this is o of n square so there is a loop inside a loop okay so that's that's bad okay guys so to to fix it it is pretty simple like it took me a day to figure this out because i'm not the great cp or dsa guy right so what we can do is simply this is an array right so what we can do const uh, list uh, object so we will make it an object and what we will do is we will just put it like uh, id will be the key so like two and then we can put it like this okay we can put it it like image so first loop we will convert this okay so and we will fill this object list object and uh, we will put the id so it will be item dot id uh, so it will become like that and uh, if i assign this like i can simply do item okay so now if i i will uh, comment this up and i will log this thing so console dot log uh, uh, list object so we should see something cool so as you can see we have this one and we have this okay so now what we can simply do is instead of looping through all this so simply we can do is and we will put the id here and we don't need to convert it to number again it is string will work as well and uh, we will do equals to and we will assign uh, we will just up, uh, update the image so image we are not using typescript that's why there is no auto completion and yeah use typescript okay and i will do path what do you think will this work let's log this up uh -huh. okay okay i forgot to spread it okay so now it's like it is like it was happening like item colon item yeah so after we spread it it will be fine so now if i uh, save it and run the command again so as you can see we have all this okay so now to convert this back to an array so there is simply one uh, function in javascript it's called uh, object dot values ah, there is option i don't know why i'm not getting auto completion i was sure there is something called this like this so i'll do list object and we should be uh pretty aha so as you can see guys this is just uh i'll say uh o of 3n so we can just store this somewhere so or in the existing list so uh, items will be this and now we can log console dot log uh, items so it should be perfect now so 
as you can see this was the before like uh, let me just comment this up as well and run this last time so that you can see we updated this with cat1 with this cat1 bat1 and all, we have all this so this is the perfect solution guys i am not sure if anyone can make this better but yeah uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to like, share and follow and subscribe. I hope to see you soon in a next creative episode. Bye bye. Take care.